What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, and as you can see, I have been working on all those crafts that I showed in my last video, all the Christmas stuff, plus even more. So, I don't know if I showed in that video the wood triangles I had, but this is what I made out of them. They were just scrap wood, and my grandparents cut them into triangles, not this one. But all of these, and all I did was paint them. On some of them, I'm still going to add a bow to the top, like I did those two. But I literally just finished the main part of them. And I'm just going to use this one as an example and tell you how I made it. So I just drew my line, the zigzag pattern, painted half of it green, half of it red. And then after that was all dry, I put glue and glitter. And they all have glitter, except for that one and that one on the back that have the bows. I liked them the way they are. And so this one is just pretty simple, just paint and glitter. Then all of them, when I was finished, I sprayed a Mod Podge. It was like spray paint, but it was like a clear paint that made them glossy. So it made them a little shinier than they were. I really like these over here, the American flag one, and then just this simple one. But the American flag one is probably the hardest one I did. And then this one, which turned out super duper cute. And when I actually put the glue on here, I stood it up while it was still wet and it started running down. But it turned out super duper cute. It did that on the sides too. This one, it started to peel and so I had to peel it off on this side. There's still just a, well, never mind. There's none on that side. But it's still cute if you put it like at an angle. And then I just have these others. This one I just did dots. I didn't paint it any color before at all. I just dots on it and in the spaces where they didn't get any I just put glitter glue this one here was super fun to make I use these this package of these things and they are wire so they bended but I cut them to the size I needed and then I hot glued them on here and it turned out looking super cute look just like a real Christmas tree then I just have this other wood. This is wood here. And it had this base. And I painted them. And I put scrapbook paper on this. And I put glitter down here and a ribbon. They are connected. I hot glued them. But there's also a dowel that goes through it. Where it is a little more sturdier. But it turned out super duper cute. Then I have these three shovels, and this one was my favorite. My mom actually added the glitter on each of the trees and the glitter along the snow here. This one I really like also. I, paint, I hand painted that snowman. It was very challenging. And then this one, it's just basic, and then I added some um, snow down there at the bottom. But I love how that bow turned out and that bow. That bow is just a basic bow. But I thought they turned out super duper cute and I thought people would love them. This is one of my all time favorite things that I have made. It was this cute little sleigh. And I had um, this Merry Christmas scrapbook paper that I used for the front here. And then I covered the rest in scrapbook paper. I put some ribbon around the top and the bottom. And then I have the floral foam in the bottom, and I found these flowers and pine cones and all the decorative floral stuff at Dollar Tree, and it just turned out super duper cute. I just love it. It's so cute. This is super duper cool. I only made one of these just because I'd never done this before and my grandma really wanted to do it. It says wonderful mom on it and this is actually a tile with the um, we etched on it and let me tell you a little bit about how to do this so to do this you will need a silhouette machine or a stencil that is like stick on and you 
in, like on normal vinyl, you pull out the insides of the letters. This, you leave it whole and you take out the actual letters because that's what you want imprinted. Then you stick that on here as center as you can get it. And then you take the etching cream, which it is very expensive, but it is super duper cool and you can reuse it. You put the etching cream all over, a thick layer all over the top here and spread it over and you leave it for about 10 minutes, I'd say. And then you scrape it off. She just used a spatula and put it back into the container to reuse because I don't see why not. And then just wash it off and dry it. And it leaves this, the letters, etched into it. I just think it turned out so super cool. The next item I have is this sign that says laundry that you can hang in your laundry room. It was super simple to make and it was stuff that my grandma just gave me. She had actually had a sign like this made a little differently and had it in her house, in her laundry room, but she changed the color theme and it didn't match anymore. But it's just a long canvas painted. Those are cardboard letters that you can get from Hobby Lobby. And they just have scrapbook paper on them, and then I glued them on there. You can hot glue them on there, but I used uh, wood glue, I think, and it worked pretty well. Then I just made two little rag bows and put those on there with some scrap fabric I had. And it turned out super duper cute, and I think there is somebody who would love it. Sorry you can see through this, but it's hard to film mirrors. This was an old antique mirror that my grandpa found in his uncle's house. And it was real rusty looking and it was gold. It was very old looking. And so I just painted it blue. Sorry, I told to hold this still in the camera. And then I just cleaned it up and I noticed there is one scratch in it. And then down here at the bottom, I just put some silhouette on it and I think it turned out super duper cute. I also have the sign that says Faith, Hope, Love that was just silhouette and just a white piece of wood. Another item that I am selling are the Valentine wood blocks that I made last Valentine's Day. And so go check out that video if you want to see what they turned out looking like. I tried to sell them last year, but I think it was too close to Valentine's Day that nobody bought them. And I have this wooden Christmas tree that I just painted and nailed together and it is made to hold your ornaments. And that brings me to the other items that I have that I think are going to be the big time seller is I have um, like 40 ornaments and they are just glitter ornaments and then I put silhouette on them. I have baby's first Christmas ones. I have ones that have the state states on them. Um, I have a love with a paw print. I think that would be a big seller because people love their dogs. As you can see, I have several dog ones. That one has a unicorn face on it. I have a couple teacher ones. The Santa cams. I also have a boy's baby first Christmas. I have the Grinch. Let it snow. Then I have some others here. Santa cam. Merry and bright. Happy Holidays with a Christmas tree on the back. Felice Love. Mother of Dogs. Another Love. This one I only glittered half of it and it turned out looking super duper cool. Another Merry and Bright. Uh, another state one with the Missouri. Um, and then another dog one, Dogaholic with a paw print. And these are super easy to make. They're the flat ornaments is what they are. The round ones are too hard to put vinyl on. It just wrinkles. Here is a Mr. and Mrs. ornament. I did the same with that dog one. I only glittered half of it and I put this white snow in it and the ear on the back. 
But anyway, you just need some glitter, and then I have them in this basket. And then... Just a couple more. And I'm in the middle of making a few more also. Here I have a few more ornaments. I'm going to put some... Oops! A teacher on here. The It will say the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. And it has erasers in them. I have several of those. And then I just got back from the beach. And I brought home some sand. And so I'm making some beach ones. That have she sea seashells in it. This one won't have any vinyl on it. Except for maybe the year. These are round ones. Since you won't put any vinyl on them. This one is for us though. For my mom. So that's why we're going to put the year on it. Is because we were at the beach this year. These are all the neat seashells we collected at the beach, and I don't know what some of them are. Just cool. This one's really neat. Do we just have the pieces? It was so nice down there, and this is really cool, whatever it is. Guys, here is a tip. If you are going to be selling ornaments, then I have a roll of bubble wrap. Which they are plastic ornaments, but they would still be good to wrap. And so if you just pre-cut pieces to wrap the ornaments in. And then I also have a roll to cut more off of. And I also just have some brown paper sacks. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will let you know how I did at the craft show. I am going to probably be selling my ornaments $6 each or $2 or $10. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Goodbye. Thank you.